everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruna and in today's video I am going to be explaining to you guys about yarn weights and hook sizes. I know that a lot of people have questions about yarn weights and also hook sizes and I've done a table for you guys so that I can explain to you guys a little bit easier and also maybe you guys can download and print the, the table, okay? So this is the table, this one, hopefully you can see. Um, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys more in a minute. So I'm gonna be explaining to you guys the global terms for both of the yarn weights and also the hook sizes. And also I'm going to show you guys the UK and the US yarn weights and hook sizes. Hopefully you guys will be able to learn something new in today's video and I really hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started! So I have the table here with me now and also I have some yarns here so that I can compare the sizes with you guys and also I have some hooks in here as well. So let me explain to you guys the table. So right here we have the global terms, okay? Right here we have the numbers, right here we have the UK sizes and here the US and then here we have the hook sizes, UK and US. So I am going to be mentioning the numbers Okay, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that will be easier for me to explain to you guys and going back and forth. So for number 0, we have crochet thread as the global term for 0. And then for 1, we have super fine. For 2, we have fine. For 3, we have light. For 4, we have medium. For 5, we have bulky. And for 6, we have super bulky. So for the UK, we have one ply for number zero, okay? And we do have a name for that, and it's called lace. Ply is just the term that they use for yarn weights, okay? So for US, the number zero is called lace. So for number one in the UK, we have the two ply and the three ply. And then for the US, we have the fingering, okay? So for number two, we have in the UK, the four ply, and then in the US, sport. So for number three, we have in the UK the eight ply and then DK, okay? Same for the US, they do have the DK, but then they also call it light, okay? Same as the global term. And then for number four, we have in the UK 10 ply and then it's called iron. And then for the US is worsted. For number five, we have the 12 ply and it's called chunky. And then in the US is bulky, okay? For number six, we have super chunky in the UK, and then in the US, super bulky. So the most used terms for the yarn weights are the global terms and also the numbers, okay? I prefer using the numbers, so every time I say um, yarn weight um, number zero or number one, two, three, four, five, six, you can just go back to the table and then just check on the place where you are, okay? You can check the global terms or the UK or the US. So now I'm just going to be showing you guys examples of each of the yarn weights, okay? I have my yarns here already. So the first one, which is number zero, okay? The crochet thread. And I have an example here, which is this one from Clea. And it's a crochet yarn from Brazil. So I know that you can buy this yarn here on eBay. I'm just going to be linking everything in the description below, okay? If you want to buy this yarn. And it's not that expensive as well, okay? So I have one open here for you guys, so then I can show you guys the thread. So here we have the yarn weight number zero. And with this crochet yarn, you can create amazing, amazing bikini projects, okay? And it looks so nice. Um, I have a tutorial for you guys coming up soon on my channel, so keep an eye for that. So for number one, which is the super fine, I have this yarn here, okay? Which is the Natura Just Cotton. And as you guys can see, this one is much more thicker than the number zero, okay? Let me just show you guys the difference. Here we go. And this yarn here is also amazing for bikinis, okay? If you guys want a really good yarn to make your bikinis, this one is a good option, okay? And you can buy this one from Hobbycraft. So now for number two, which is the fine, I have this yarn here as an example and as you guys can see it does state the yarn weight okay both for US and for UK okay and it's the four ply and the sport and baby is the other name that they call number two and this one is the creations by Carbond and I bought this at Sainsbury's and let me show you guys the thickness for this yarn as well 
So here we go. This one is number two. This one is number one. And this one is number zero. So I don't have any examples for number three and four, but I do have an example for five and six, okay? So this one here, this one, hopefully you guys can see. This one, it's a chunky one, okay? Number five. And at the back here, it does say that is a bulky, okay? Which is from America, the US. So this is how it looks like. Let me just show you guys quickly this one. So, and for number six, I have this one here, which is very, very chunky, actually. <laughs> super, super chunky. And this is the yarn. It's by Hayfield, and it does say the yarn weight here. So it's super chunky, okay? Bonus super chunky. So you guys can definitely see the difference between all of them. And here we have the number zero, the one, the two, the five, and the six, okay? So now I'm just going to be explaining to you guys a little bit about the hook sizes. So now we have the hook sizes. So at the beginning it will be very complicated and hard to understand, but once you get the hang of it, it will be perfect, okay? So for the UK, for the number zero here, we start from 0 0.90 to 2.25 millimeters, and then for the US we have the steel hooks, okay? which is six, seven, and eight. And also the regular hook, which is the B1. So for number one, in the UK, we have the 2.25 to 3.5 millimeters. And in the US is the B1 to E4, okay? For number two, we have 3.5 unto 4.5 millimeters. And then in the US, we have the E4 to seven. For number three, we have from 4.5 to 5.5 millimeters, and then in the US is from 7 to I9. So for number four, we have from 5.5 unto 6.5 millimeters, and in the US is from I9 to K10.5. And for number five, it's from 6.5 to 9 millimeters, and in the US is from the K10.5 to M13. And for number six is the nine millimeters on words, and then for the US is the M13 and larger. So these are all the hook sizes for the UK and the US, and the global term used for hook sizes are the UK one, which is millimeters. So I just decided to add the hook sizes in this table because sometimes you have a two millimeters hook and you just wanna know which um, yarn weight to use. Okay, and then you can just come in here and then you can check which one you use. So now I just want to show you guys some examples that I have here on my hooks. And for these four hooks here, which is from Brazil, I have both terms, okay? The US term and the global term, okay, for the hook sizes. So hopefully you guys can see, but I have a 3.50, a 4, a 4.50 and a 5. So as you guys can see, for the US is a E4. And then for the UK and globally is 3.50 millimeters. And then I have a four millimeters hook, which in the US is a G6. And then I have a US7, which is a 4.50 millimeters hook. And the last hook I have is the US H8, which is a five millimeters hook. So I have this kit here, which is from Sainsbury's, and I think I paid 25 pounds and it's like a little bag with all the hooks inside. And I think this is really useful because you do have the steel hooks and also the other size hooks here. And I think it would be much more easy if you buy them in a kit rather than buy them individually, okay? Like I did with these ones and these other ones here as well, okay? I bought them all individually as you guys can see. And if you guys wanna buy in a specific hook size, you would need to buy them individually. And I do have this one, this three here, actually. This one is a 1.1, this one is a 1.6, and this one is a 1.25. I do have the 1.25 here, but I don't have the 1.1 or the 1.6, okay? I have the 0 0.90, the 0 0.95, the one, the 105, 110, 115, 125, 130, 140, 
150, 160, 170, 175, 190, 210, 270, 3, 3.5, 3.75, 4, 5, 5.5, 6 and 6.5 and then this one is a 2 millimeters hook which I had to buy individually because they don't have in the kit okay and it's my favorite hook ever okay this one hopefully I helped you guys to learn something about yarn weights and also hook sizes and if you have any questions anything you want to ask just let me know in the comments below and then I can help you guys and if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, thank you so much and I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye!